Okay, this is that homemade yogurt that I was forced to make when my fridge broke. In this video, you're gonna find out what it tastes like. And I'm gonna show you how I made it right now. If you saw my other video, you know that my, um, my fridge is broken. So everything's going bad in there. And the milk has turned room temperature. So I'm thinking, instead of throwing it out, why not run an experiment? Now this is normal store-bought yogurt, and it says it's got living, um, what is it, bacterial cultures in it? Can it be used as a seed to make that into yogurt? And save this even though it's room temperature? I don't know. We're gonna find out together, okay? And I've already eaten half of this yogurt too, so I don't know how healthy the, this thing is, but I got nothing to lose at this point. So we're gonna find out together if this is even doable. So all I'm gonna do is, is put the, the store-bought yogurt into the milk like you see here, knowing that, ah, I'm spilling it, sorry. <laughs> and this is totally, you know, now, you know, this is totally not the way you're supposed to make yogurt. You're supposed to use star all this and star all that, and it's supposed to sit at a certain specific temperature. And yeah, this is totally, like the cheaters hacky emergency way to do it like i said you know i got nothing to lose this milk has already r risen to room temperature anyway it doesn't smell rotten it just smells like milk that's not the freshest in the world so what i'm hoping is going to happen here is that this the live bacteria in the store-bought yogurt are going to find this milk and they're going to start eating it and then they're going to start pooping out yogurt now those of you who are grossed out by that Take heart. Yogurt is just a nice name for bacteria poop. Even the store-bought yogurt under normal circumstances that you buy is nothing more than really bacteria poop. Alrighty. So there's quite a bit of yogurt in there now. If it's gonna take, it's gonna take. And if it's not, it's not. Alright? And we'll find out in a few days whether or not my hunch is correct. I'm just gonna wipe off my mess here because I didn't use a funnel. Sorry. I should have used the funnel. But like I said, I just thought of this at the last second. It was either that or throw this milk out. And if it works, great. I get a jug of yogurt. If it doesn't work, then hey, I throw out something that I was going to throw out anyway. So, yeah. Okay. That's all cleaned up. Put the cap back on. Give it a shake. Okay, now we know that that is all mixed up. There's yogurt and there's milk in there. We're just gonna leave it for a few days at room temperature and see what happens. If it's disgusting, I apologize. Like uh, they always say, you never know till you try. Okay, it's about, oh, a day later. And if you look, there's a thick layer of whey on top of there. And I think this is about done. And what am I supposed to say about this? Except that it looks like it is yogurt. Let's take a smell. It does not smell bad. It smells like yogurt. Now I'm going to do something risky and try some actually. You see it's really runny, it's lumpy. It does not look like it's runny and it's lumpy and it does not look like store-bought yogurt. It does smell like store-bought yogurt. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try some on camera just to show you that I'm going to put this in my mouth and swallow it. It tastes perfectly fine. It tastes just like any other yogurt. It tastes just like the yogurt that I got from the store. So. And I swallowed it, like you saw. Um, does this mean you should do this at home? Absolutely not. I mean, the, the government says that any yogurt left outside for more than two hours is not consumable. This was just an experiment, seeing as my fridge was broken anyway, and I was gonna throw this milk out anyway, and the yogurt too. So yeah, I thought, ah, oh, what the heck, I'll give it a shot and see what happens. And as you can see, I actually was able to successfully make a jug of yogurt. Now, I have nowhere to store this because my fridge is broken, like I said. So, 
I'm gonna have to throw this out anyway, but consider this an experiment that went successfully. The only reason I did this was to satisfy my curiosity and maybe yours too, to see whether or not it could be done. I think the answer is yes, it can be done. Now, if the question is, like I said, should it be done? No, I don't think it should be done. All right, so there you go. It is possible to make yogurt by pouring store-bought yogurt into a jug of milk and leaving it at room temperature for a few days. Okay, there you go. Now you know. Okay, maybe I ought not do this. I just took a smell of it. It's now a day later and it smells like yogurt. I took a tiny taste. It tastes like yogurt and maybe I should not do what I'm about to do, but I'm super curious. So, um, let's find out if I can make a fruit dessert with this. I've got some frozen blueberries here. I'm just gonna mix it up, kind of make it like an ice creamy type thing, and I'll let you know how it tastes. Now, if I stop making videos, you'll know I got sick. Yeah, it's a lot runnier than store-bought yogurt, but it smells and tastes mm, the same. Like I said, this is a big experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm hoping that the uh, the cold of the frozen berries is gonna freeze it up a bit and make it like, kind of like a sherbet, maybe. It's looking really good. Hmm, maybe that needs more berries. Okay, accidental homemade yogurt frozen berry dessert thingy. Let's hope it kind of tastes like ice cream. I don't know. Here goes nothing. Whoa, it's wonderful. <laughs> well, how about that? It tastes great. I almost feel stupid saying this, but yeah, don't imitate me at home, please. Now you know. Holy crap. <laughs> it's actually good. It tastes like yogurt and berries that you would eat typically whenever you want yogurt and berries. It tastes normal. It's fantastic. But this is good. But don't imitate me. Even though it's good. Yes, yeah, unbelievable as this may sound, I'm actually really enjoying this. Hmm. It's the same as any other frozen yogurt dessert you might make with typical store-bought ingredients. I mean, just look at that. It's creamy. You, if I could, I could serve this to you, and you'd never suspect that this is how I made the yogurt. Hmm. You would not suspect the thing. It just tastes totally normal, like any other yogurt with fruit. Mmm. Who would have thought? Who would have thought you could actually do this? I mean, I've read you need a yogurt maker, you gotta put a light bulb on it, you gotta put it in the oven. You guys saw earlier, all I did was take that milk that was already room temperature and dump uh, that yogurt into it. You see, the thing with this kind of process, and I know this from being a beer maker, yeah, a brewer, is that you can never have a sterilized environment. 
you're always gonna have some you know population of bad germs in your thing and when you make beer your hope when you throw the yeast in you hope that the yeast takes over the entire container and it'll turn it into beer now I suspected the same was true with milk that if I were to put yogurt germs into there even though there are probably other species of bad bacteria in there my suspicion was that the yogurt because I dumped it in in such great numbers the yogurt bacteria would grow so fast that they would kill off all the other bad ones and from the taste of it that appears to be what's happened this is awesome Mmm. Gosh darn it, this is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, so now you probably have a basic understanding of what fermentation is. Okay, so that means in future videos, I'm going to be using other kinds of liquid to actually make things like cider and beer. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss it. More content on the way.